Hey guys, welcome back to the Simply Knives YouTube channel. Today we got a review for you of the Honey Badger in the Warren Cleaver edition. So this is an 8CR13 MOV. Um, they do come in D2 variants, which of course is the advisable choice, but I got this F off of Knife Swap from a, a Redditor who sent like a package deal. This is, you know, like new in-box condition. Um, but, man, you know Honey Badgers, man. They are just the most fun fidgeting knives out there. You can slow roll it really easily. You can, you just use the flipper tab. You can thumb flick it. You can spidey flick it. And I'll, and look at this action, man. Look at this. I mean, part of that is just because the blade is so massive that it kind of makes that a little bit easier. But my gosh, it's amazing. Freaking amazing action. Uh, I like on this Warren Cleaver edition, the, you know, the addition of this little, little badger guy on there. He's super cool looking. I personally love this blade shape a lot. You can see, you know, some of the grind lines. Just like a, a nice, I think, flat grind. It's got a good forward finger toil. You can pretty easily get your whole finger in there. And as you can see, you know, there's a, the space in between, so you're not going to nick yourself on that. Um, ergonomics, you know. Oops. So I guess you can fail the deployment. But, uh, you know, it feels really good. The pocket clip, you can hardly, you can hardly feel the pocket clip at all. Um, this honeycomb design definitely gives you some good uh, grip, so that you'll have a good handle on your knife. The pocket clip goes all the way to the end. You can uh, switch sides with it. I guess it kind of like slides in there as an insert, which is cool. So I guess that that's just like a little. Uh, metal insert that you can move to the other side got that nice blue backspacer here's the logo um it's just freaking sweet man i also have the other large honey badger that i have here is the two side by side and you can see that this one i think i think the blade's a little bit longer on this one um, definitely has like, you know, a f more flat cutting edge to it. If you were to have the flipper tab, you know, you have part of that blade that, let's see if I can get a piece of paper here for you. Just a sec. Handy dandy little blade thing. So as you can see, you know, you have part of it that's kind of raised up. If I were to compare these... Two large knives. You know, the Warren Cleaver, I think, is a, a, a newer edition of it. They're both 8CR13 MOV. Um, the Warren Cleaver sticks out a whole lot more. Which can be, honestly, kind of annoying in the pocket. Um, action on both is really just phenomenal. I kind of like this jimping on the forward finger toil on the... You know, the original large version. Sorry. Um, but I would have to say that the action and kind of just overall flippability and fun, you know, experience that you get with a honey badger is def... I'd say that the shape of this blade kind of just amplifies it all around. In addition to, you know, you get like a, a new kind of looking thing. This... I got both of these new, I get I mean, used, I guess. This one was way more newish, so the action is substantially better. This one did have a tiny bit of blade play, but as I, I was able to, you know, just tighten the pivot and remove a lot of that. There's still a tiny bit in there. Um, on this one, no blade play at all, just absolutely zero. Feels really solid construction. Um, you know, the other guy before me didn't really use this very much. But, 
I'd say that the blade could be sharper. As you can see, it kind of nicks at certain points along the blade. I think the 8CR13 MOV steel is a little softer than, you know, D2. But this knife holds up pretty well. I'd say that if I were to buy one new and just outright, I would definitely get the D2 version. This uh, 8CR13 MOV version costs about, I think, $38, while the D2 version is like $62. So it's a substantial price jump. And you know what? I guess considering the fact that, well, if you have a honey badger, the main reason that you might have it is just how fun it is to play with and flip open and it's almost like the the most improved version of a fidget toy ever even the slow roll was just so fun um they kind of chamfered the edges along this uh this finger hole so it's really comfortable all around uh if you're lefty and gripping it even this is pretty comfortable i guess you know you can just move your finger even that's very comfortable. Um, I like that the pocket clip goes all the way to the top, recessed screws, no sort of, you know, anything to snag. It, you know, I guess maybe comes over, maybe it's like substantial at this point, but uh, I don't know, it's great, man. I guess, you know what, right here, this little piece of plastic is like very sharp, so that can be annoying. Um, but dude, I'd say that this Honey Badger Blue Worn Cleaver is probably one of my favorite knives of all time at the moment. Um, it is my new favorite fidgeting knife. The action on it is absolutely perfect. Um, and it looks super cool. I freaking love that blade. Kind of looks like a, like an angry animal or something. I don't know. Maybe like an angry bird. The new Angry Birds game, where you just flip a knife. <laughs> that was a really stupid joke. Um, yeah, this this is a seriously sweet knife, though. It gets an A+. This knife gets a freaking A+. I love it so much. And I love that I can do all the deployment options. Also, the, the jimping on the lock bar is a little bit less harsh on this Warren Cleaver Blue Edition. So that's nice too. Well, anyways, guys, those are some of my thoughts on this large honey badger Warren Cleaver edition. Probably, yeah, just one of my favorites of all time. Anyways, hope you guys have a good rest of your days. Rest of your day. Peace.